Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase session. My name is Hal and today we're going to try our hand at editing this sunset landscape photo. As usual, I haven't edited this photo before so we're going to go through the process together and the link to download the photo can be found in the description below so you can download it and follow the process at your own pace or better yet, improve it. Alright, start with cropping. Uh, let's change the guides. Let's see if the diagonals would follow this curvature. I want to let the bridge start at the top and then if possible let it finish at this nexus. I think this looks good. Is the horizon skewed? No, I think it's okay. Okay, next is white balance and as usual we're not gonna do it in the white balance module. We're gonna make sure this is set to camera reference and then go to the color calibration module and we'll try again the AI from image services. What did that do? Let's go to the history and see. Yeah, I like that. It added some warmth to the image. I'm not sure if this is actually a sunset or sunrise. It's not my photo, but we're gonna pretend that it's sunset and we're gonna leave it warm like this. Next, exposure. Oh, I missed a step. I have it in my own workflow as automatic, but not in this uh, virtual machine. You always have to make sure that the mosaic is set to a maze if you're going to use the filmic RGB module. Okay, oh, back to the schedule. Exposure. Have to set this one so that the midtones are properly exposed, but should not forget that this is not a midday photo. It's supposed to be on the dark side, so we're not gonna overdo it. Let's see. I'll add a little bit. Yeah. Maybe more. Okay. Going to change the black level. Make sure that we see a little bit more of the shadows. It's going to be changed once we use the filmic RGB, but for now that's good. Next, filmic RGB. Like I said, we're going to lower the black relative exposure. Again, all of those modules have been discussed at length in the dark table from A to Z series. If you need a refresher or if you're having problems with any modules, you can go back to that series and look at it. Okay, that's good enough. I'm go to the look and increase the latitude as much as we can, which means that we're adding uh, we're adding contrast and more saturation at extreme luminance but we have to make sure that we don't get any orange zones so as soon as you get it that's enough what else a bit of reconstruct for the highlights let's see the mask lower the threshold until we see the part we want to reconstruct and I don't care at all about texture so I'm going to just 
Lord here. And then we're going to go to the options and add one iteration. Yeah, it looks okay. I'm going to try and fix it more maybe in another module, but for now, that'll do. Okay, Dawn Equalizer. fix the mask the tone equalizer mask not the usual mask that we use on all modules okay let's darken this part a bit to get the or maybe a bit of the red back did that affect the whole image do we need to use a mask no I think that's quite well done and then maybe a bit more mid-tones here okay what did that do no I think that's that's good that works let's see local contrast hmm yeah. Everywhere, or do we need to? No, I think even here it looks good. Do you need to change anything? Less than the highlights, maybe. Let's see. Okay. Okay. What next? maybe a bit more red and try to get a bit of the yellow let's see gonna try another color calibration module make sure it's set to bypass none the adaptation go to colorfulness add a bit of red I'll add a lot just to see what it's doing and then we'll tone it down yeah let's tone it down though Maybe 0.4. We'll work on that, and I'll add some green. What does that do? Yeah. Brightness. Maybe a bit less than the red. A bit more in the green. Let's see now the effect. Yeah, a bit more red and yellow. But it's subtle, so that's good. What next? Maybe a bit more light on the bridge. Let's see if that works. Try another tone equalizer. Do the same dance. much could have copied the other one as well but that's fine but this time I'm gonna add an ex a mask and let's see try to follow the contours here Do I want to add this yeah a little bit otherwise we'll change it okay but then I'm going to make it smaller well, that's not gonna work is it okay it's not see let's do it in two steps because that's the smart thing to do if nothing else we learned that today eh? Let's 
smaller and I'm going to increase the feathering just that, so that the light isn't too harsh you can work around with that and here as well more feathering smaller mask uh, see how it works or not that's as well a possibility okay hide it for now and then go on there and just well, maybe, maybe a bit too much let's see yeah and then no, not in the highlights but maybe here as well could as well do it on the graph but I'm trying to see where does it actually what does it correspond to How's this? Yeah, nice. Here and here. Let's show the masks again and see. Do we need to make this maybe a bit bigger? How does that work? Yeah, maybe without the mask to see the effect. That's good. Do we need to denoise? Not really. Let's see. A little bit, maybe. I'll just use the non local means auto. And since we've added one EV, I'll leave it at that. Let's see. What did that do? Let's go to 100. No, that smooths the sky a bit more. Okay. What else? Well, I don't think sharpen needs to work on everything, but I would like the bridge to be more sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape around the bridge or at least the parts that I want to sharpen yeah this part too I think let's see well, this one here but here I want a lot less feathering to sharpen a particular area let's hide this and then I'm going to put a ridiculous amount of sharpen let's zoom in and see what that does not necessarily that much we want to see the whole bridge just and there you go just the bridge now is very sharp which adds to the effect of leading the eye towards the light okay what else I like that it's already dark here but maybe it could be a bit darker there just to you know avoid the distraction here I don't know let's see if that works add another exposure and just add like this mm, or maybe higher okay maybe more feathering so that it doesn't have a harsh edge, make it smaller then. Well, let's see how it works and then we'll how much. Minus five? No, that's probably way too much, yeah. That is. Let's try minus quarter. Okay. Then I'm going to look at this. Uh,
negative sign is very important. Okay, does that work or is it just... Yeah, I, I think I like it. It just leads the eye away from the negative here. Okay, so that's it. I compressed the history stack and I took a snapshot that's the original photo at the crop and rotate it's easier to compare and that's what we did with it the effect is subtle certainly but the intent was to keep the mood of the image while enhancing the effect of the bridge architecture and lines leading towards the explosion of light here. So that's it for this uh, video. I hope that you found it interesting. If you have any questions, corrections or remarks, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.